Hey makers, John here. Let's make the Keaton mask from Zelda. Let's go on Thingiverse and find a nice looking model. I'll put a link down in the description. First, I'm scaling the model up a bit for a better fit. Around 123% seems good for my head size. I'm rotating the mask so I can print the whole mask in my printer and adding supports. This print took around 9 hours on my K1 Max. First step is to remove all remaining supports and clean up the model. It's important to take your time with the small pieces of supports, so the sanding process gets better. This model will need a lot of sanding to get it nice and smooth. And I mean a lot of sanding. Okay, let's sand this mask. First I'm using 180 grit, sweeping the whole mask for some time. Then I'm moving up to a 280 grit, and finishing with a 350 before first primer appliance. I recommend cutting up the sheet into smaller pieces so you can sand in corners and tight areas easier. Okay, so I went outside, gave the mask a quick wash, and primed it with a gray filler. Time to go over the mask with a 500 grit to get it even smoother. By using paper around a sponge, you can easily follow the curve of the mask and get a nice grip. Before last run of priming, I'm wet sanding the whole mask with a thousand grit sandpaper. Last and final coat of priming is done, and the mask is looking really good and ready for paint. I'm starting with black spray paint for the ear tips and the nose. Black is done, I'll let it sit some time before we paint the rest. Before I paint the mask yellow, I have to put on some masking tape to cover the black pieces. When masking, I'm looking for a curve to follow to make it as straight as possible. The yellow paint is on. Now let's remove the masking tape and take a look. Be careful when you take off the tape so you don't scratch the paint on the edges. The paint job is not perfect, but it turned out decent, I think. But I'm going to go over with some color to fix the edges and the areas where I need some extra paint. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the results. I could have done the paint job different, but for being my first mask make, it's fine. Thank you so much for watching, catch you in the next one.